Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. By the way, I am Edward Ugolfan and in this video, I'm gonna show you on how to create a login form in Microsoft Access with limited attempts. So to give you an idea, guys, let me show you my sample. So this one, for example, this is the first attempt. So the username and also this is the password. When we click this login, so the message box is normal. Please enter the correct username and password. And then, so this is the second attempt. Second attempt, log in. Okay, the next message box is please enter the correct username and password. And then, you have one login attempt remaining. So this is the last chance, guys. So, example, still wrong. Log in. Invalid three login attempts. Please contact your database administrator. And when we click OK, OK, the database is closed. So, how to do this? If you are still interested, please watch the video until the end and please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. <music> Let us create a new one, guys. So create form design, and then let us add a text box, copy paste, and then let us rename this to a username. And for this is password. And then for the field, let's put username. And also this one is password. Okay, let us expand and then let us add a command button. Cancel the wizard. So let's type login. Okay, something like this. And for the format, let's try. Okay, I don't like this. So I have to change this to pop up to yes. And then for the record selector, no. And also the navigation is no. And also this war rider. Okay. So this is it. And then let's start the coding, guys. Click this login. And then uh, click event. And then on click. On click event. Click this three dots. Go to code builder. Click OK. And here we go. So let's start the coding. <coughs> so let's start with if. If is null. So this is for the username. I mean that username if it's null or no value then there's a message the message would be please enter the correct username and then another else if because we have uh, started with if so the next is else if still is null for the password guys me that password so then uh, message box again the message would be please enter the correct password so now what if the password is correct and also the username is correct so let's add is uh, else if this is sample uh, sample username and password guys else if me that username is equals to xxx and me that password is equals to 123 then what will happen message box again uh, you have successfully log in. Okay, you may proceed. So sample, guys. This is just sample only. So let's try. Uh, by the way, let us put NF. Okay. So form one, it's okay. Close this, then form one. So 
So now, log in. Okay, please enter the correct username. Next, please enter the correct password. Okay, there's no message. What if the correct username and then the password also is correct? One, two, three. Log in. You have successfully log in. You may proceed. Okay. So now, let us add a message for incorrect password. So let's go back to our coding. But before that, I will add private login attempt. as integer okay so that's it and then else if else so actually there's no misses but we will uh, clear the the field so me that username false null and then me that password also null sorry and then me that username that set focus okay and then this one for this login attempt we will record it so login attempt is equals to still login attempt sorry plus one and then uh, let us close this and F. So let's start here. If login attempt is equals to one, then sorry, there's a message. The message is please enter the correct username and password and bb critical okay and then log in denied for the title else if log in attempt so this is equals number two for the login attempt second login attempt sorry guys <clears throat> so we will copy paste this so please enter the correct username and then let's add and bbcrlf so this is for the second line guys so I will add another B B C R L F. So this is for a two space below. And by the way, I will cut this one. Okay. Then you have one login attempt remaining okay copy paste so this one you have one login attempt remaining so let's try guys close this yes okay open again so first attempt please enter the correct username and password this is the second attempt. Please enter the correct username and password. Then you have one login attempt remaining. For the third, there's no message because uh, we only have that two. So now let us continue the coding, guys, for uh, the last login attempt. So else if login attempt. Equals three, then what will happen? There's a message box. Invalid. 
three login attempts. Okay, and then BB. I uh, sorry. I will add um, a space below. BB CR LF. BB CR LF. Okay, and then. The second line message is please contact your database administrator. Okay. And then BB critical. Then close or login denied. Okay. Login denied. After that one. So, application that quit. Okay. So, the database will be closed. Save. Close. Close also. Open again. So, this is the correct one. XXX. And then the password is 123. You have successfully uh, logged in. What if the password is wrong so this is the first login attempt which is wrong and then the second so there's a message you have one login attempt remaining and then for the last invalid trail login attempts please contact your database administrator and then once we click this okay application that quit okay that's it guys and if you want to learn more about creating a login form like creating a login form with different user account and different user label then watch my video i will put the link below that's all guys thank you and see you to my next video